All right, let's go over question C1. Set a, sketch a set. So a set here um, is going to be like linears and quadratics. Okay, and a product. So uh, we're actually going to build these. So multiplying a quartic function, which is to the fourth power, with the given characteristics. So for distinct, uh, another word for distinct is like individual points, individual, OK? And a y-intercept of 0, 6. They're saying the final product has to be 6. So how do you do that? It just basically means whatever functions you build, um, all the constants, all those numbers at the very end, when they multiply, that'll be a six. Here, here's an example, watch. Let's say I choose f of x equals x plus one. Let's graph that. So here you have a y-intercept of one right there. And then you just have a slope of one, up one, right one, right? And there's my line. Okay. Now let's just say you do something like g of x equals x plus 2. And what I'm trying to point out is right now, so far, if you multiply those two, you'll get 2. And we're trying to get a up here, it says a 6. Okay. So let's graph that one. I'm just making up x plus 2. So it has the same slope. So this is your line. Let me point this out in um, purple. Right now I have two distinct x-intercepts so far. So I need two more. Okay. And again, the goal is that the um, what we talked about is that these will multiply to be uh, negative, negative, uh, negative, positive. Six. Okay, so you can just keep going. Just follow that pattern. I think it's a good pattern. H of x equals x. Um, you can do something like negative x uh, plus three, because right now if you multiply one times one times two times three, that equals the six that I want. So let's go ahead and graph that one. X plus three, same slope, up one, right one. That's my slope, right? So I basically got three parallel lines. Uh, that one should have gone. Let's try that again. It actually should have gone through that point. Okay, so right now I have three distinct points in my purple here. Let me color that in purple. Okay, last one. I have to be very careful with this one. Let's pick a cool looking, I don't know. You just use black. Um, let's use j of x. Okay, remember now, all of my values in the yellow box have to multiply. Multiply to be to be um, a positive 6, okay? So right now I have 1 times 2 times 3 is already a 6, so how do I get that? I have to get a 1. Now this is bad because it's telling me those purple spots have to be um, distinct. So you can make Let's let's make this one a negative. Let's let's change this. I'm gonna have to make this one a negative. Let's do this one like x about um, x minus three.
because they would have negative three as your starting point, and then you would go up one, right one, up one, right one, up one, right one, right? And so there is your line. Here's my unique number. And now they multiply the blue times blue times green. That's two. That's negative six. Then I want another one that has something like um, x minus one. So if I graph that one, it's right here. So again, we met our criterion. If you multiply here in this yellow box, one times two times negative three times negative one equals a positive six. Got that done. And then the four distinct roots are um, these four purple dots. Okay, and that's how you build a quartic function with those given characteristics. See you guys.